Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout 76. Today, I wanted to share with you a couple ways that I have found uh, to level rather quickly. Now, I'm actually not that high of a level, but I've just started to implement these. I'm like level 42. I've started to implement these things, and I gained like three levels extremely fast. And so I wanted to share this with you, especially one, because it's most likely going to get patched. Okay. I'm trying to make a video here, okay? So, anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> before I was rudely interrupted, uh, I found a couple ways to level very quickly. And one of them will most likely get patched, and I'm sure maybe you've seen it going around, maybe not. But I also want to share with you two other areas that I have found to be incredibly uh, good for leveling, like ridiculously good. And one of them has somewhat of a glitch to it, and so it actually makes it even easier. So, first and foremost, I'm sure maybe you've heard of this glitch by now, but there is a glitch going around uh, to level that it's a disarming bug. And I maybe by the time this video comes out, which will be tomorrow, uh, it'll be patched. I don't know. No idea. But basically what you do is you disarm traps. And there are certain traps around the map. Not like tin can traps or something like that. But like turret traps, Tesla traps, I mean. Or like grenade traps you can find like sometimes. There's a bunch of different types around the map. You can find one like at the, the insane asylum. You can find uh, flamer traps at the place by the top of the world. You can find one uh, near my camp by the op observatory. Which I'm going to show you at this, at this relay tower. Uh, you can find another one uh, at like... The, the grove or whatever but essentially it's super simple and all you do is what you need to do is you need to have the perk home defense you need to have uh to level two and then when you have it to level two what you want to do uh first and foremost is head on over to like this relay towers a place you're gonna always see somebody here uh just sitting in there doing that you'll find some people down here uh at fort defiance which i think that's where the other one uh, the uh the, the main one is that people found but i i I'm not doing this. I don't. I don't like doing like these types of glitches because there's no skill involved really, and it's like a it's a clear, obvious glitch. At least the other one that I'm gonna show you, well, the first one I'm gonna show you in terms of leveling, isn't. It does have a somewhat of a glitch involved with it, but not really. And you'll see what I'm saying because they can like ghouls can still get to you in the spot. So if you come into the relay tower, there's gonna be a couple super mutants inside, and so if you do want to do this, uh, basically. All you need to do is, let's see, where are there any here? It's maybe somebody already cleared it out. There's usually two, yeah, there's two of them here. Usually there's one on top of the roof, and oh my gosh, they're way higher now. Oh, he saw me. He saw me. Oh, there's a guy here. Hey, chill out, man. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this, okay? Get it right in your face. All right, so when you move up in here, just be careful. Uh, it's basic, It's back here in this door. And super mutants can trigger it, and so you want to make sure that you don't give them an opportunity to trigger it themselves. Because if they trigger it themselves, then obviously you're going to have to hop servers until you get to a server where there isn't any. But there, it's right here, and if you just come up to it and you disarm it, you're going to get copper scrap, steel scrap, fusion cells, and circuits. Now, if you don't do this for leveling, and you just come up to it and you just hit R. So if you make a macro to just do this over and over and over again. You're gonna get like an insane amount of stuff. So here's here's the thing though. Even if you don't do this for leveling, because this actually will take a long time and it's it's kind of annoying. I mean, this is like a game, game breaking glitch. So even if you don't do it for leveling, the circuits, you can sell a ton of, like a hundred of them for like a hundred caps or something like that. Or it's ridiculous. You make a ton of money off of it. And so if you do wanna do this, I mean, this is one way to do this, but honestly, I don't know. It's I, I don't even really want to do it for the circuits because it seems kind of it seems very broken. Um, the other like and and essentially each different trap will have different things. So like a flamer will have like fuel that it will give, and then like grenade ones will have like fragmentation grenades. And so you can find a bunch of different types of them, and and uh, you know you can do it that way. So anyway, that's the first glitch. I I don't know about that one. Like that's a like a clear literal glitch. And I'm not too fond about doing that, but I'm going to show it to you anyway because that's the purpose of this video is to show you those types of things. So, the second one uh, is, well, well, let's go to it. The second one, what you're going to do is you're going to head down to the White Springs Resort and you're going to go to the golf club. There's another one that uh, I like doing too. It's right here at Big Bend Tunnel West and we'll show that one last. Basically, uh, there's tons of ghouls in each of these places uh, and you can make 
crazy experience like really fast faster than doing it that way in my opinion way faster uh, i found that the, the like just doing actual like killing things is way faster than doing what i just did all right so the first area here is at the golf club right like i said now the cool thing about the white spring area is that once you do this you can just run over to the white spring resort scrap all the items that you get if you want to or sell things um, because there's vendors down there there's benches down there and the the, the only thing I'm, the only thing I don't dislike is that the vendors have like a certain cap limit and it's across the entire thing it's not like per vendor which really stinks so uh, once you're at the golf go, golf club uh, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna run into this building here the golf club building and uh, just you're just gonna try to trigger the ghouls you really don't even need to trigger like the whole thing just a couple of them because the more action you cause they're all they'll all eventually come out which is makes it really easy then once you do that once you run in you come out you're gonna run over to this area right here this little plat raised platform and you can just jump up here and they can't really get to you but they sort of can they'll push each other up and there'll be two of them now if you want to make it really easy on yourself you can actually come up here and shoot from up here and they can't even, they definitely can't get to you and then sometimes there'll be a death claw that'll come and stuff uh, just from like around and you can stand up here and shoot stuff now just be warned though if you do this they'll kind of run off they'll they'll run they'll run down down there uh, if you're standing right here and then they'll come back eventually uh, for example if you were to come over to this area right over here like if you were to jump up from up there and then come over here and stand over here you can also you can also do the same thing shoot them from over here sometimes they get in the pool but they'll run down here and then the only way they'll come back is if you stand right here and then they'll come back and so uh, this this area is extremely easy for 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 grinding and like I said the the amount of experience that I get off of this place versus doing the this arm trick uh, is it's ridiculously different like this this gives you so much and then you can just server hop so uh, what you want to do is you just want to cause as much noise as you can there'll be a ton of them in here and you just want to shoot some will fall from the ceiling I'm getting lots of lag on the server uh, in this world just you know shoot a couple times and trigger them they'll be all over the place come down from the ceiling and like I said sometimes there'll be a windy going here and uh, you just want to push your way back back out it's not a big deal they, they will be someone high level some of them are diseased and stuff and then you're just gonna run over here and then just watch here they come here they come and then you can just sit here and shoot them and they can't get you here and just you know bring your bring your best weapon your shotgun or whatever and uh, see they'll start pushing themselves up some of them will um, but they won't all get up and you can see the more the more noise you cause the more will come and so you can just chuck a nade watch watch everything go boom <laughs> make it pretty easy on yourself now I don't think you get max experience doing it that way though so um, you know shooting is the way that you're gonna want to do it but you can see I mean look at you get so many that come and you can just sit here and pop them and then you're gonna get all this all this loot that's down here which is gonna give you some good scrapping and like I said they will you know push their way up sometimes like there should be a Wendigo every time I've done this so far there's been one maybe not this time though doesn't look like it but yeah that's it that's it kinda of the ghouls the ghouls give you some good experience lots of experience and tons and tons of stuff this is actually a smaller number I'm thinking that I didn't draw them all I didn't pull them all let's go back let's go inside and just see if I got them all to come out oh, there's still some more in here hey come on out and play come on there's some more come on out and play well I think I got them all that time uh, I think that might be all of them. Oh, there's one more down here. Hiding out down here. Oh, it's a, it's a king. Yeah, so you get some stragglers sometimes. But clearing this place out definitely, definitely gives you some really insane XP, XP gains. And then it's just a matter of... Uh, going to a new server and server hopping and doing it all over again. I've seen a couple people doing this now I think this uh, Method is starting to spread and then like I said you just get tons and tons of stuff Lots of ammo radx things like that. So 
this is a pretty easy method to get some nice experience and it's it's not you know difficult by any means all right so the next place that you want to go to is like i said the the big bend tunnel this is I have found this place to be really good too because there's so many ghouls in here. The only difference, if you're talking like gaining the most experience as quick as you can, uh, I think the golf club gives you that because you, you can server hop. This one takes a while and you kind of have to sneak through here because if you don't sneak, you're going to uh, get overran sometimes and you're in a tunnel and there's like no way out. I mean there is. You can go back the way you came in. Um, and then when you get to the other side of the tunnel, sometimes there's stuff right outside the door and you can get jumped pretty easily. And so it's not like the best place to go. I don't, I, I used to go here because Louis showed me this when, uh, as, as a way to level, but then I found this golf club method and I've been doing this for like the past two days. And I went from like level 36 to 42, well, almost 43 now in like a, in like a day and a half. And so it's definitely the most efficient way. In my opinion, that, that place is really good. But like I said, this place is also pretty good, but the difference is, is that you, you gotta kind of sneak. Cause if you don't, you're going to get overran. There's so many, there's so many ghouls here. Uh, there's a couple outside, but there's even more inside. This guy's just running real slow, like, I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, so then you just uh, clear out the stuff that's that's around the in, the outside, and then just make your way inside the tunnel. Okay, we got danger here. Holy, hold on, man, let me switch to my shotgun. Chill out for a second, all right, will you? Here comes some more. There's a bunch of them. That's for sure. The good thing is, uh, if you, you know, you want to collect all the weapons and stuff and break them down, you're going to find a, uh, you're going to find a, a bench underneath over here. I'll show you where it is. Where's that guy at shooting me? All right, so anyway, when you come out of here, it's, uh, the bench is right down here. So you can scrap everything that you need to scrap, weapons and stuff like that. Um... I don't know, and, you know, that's up to you if you want to do that, but I'm just going to scrap everything that I find because I don't need any of that stuff right now. But I do need to unlock some things. So then when you, uh, is there another one? There's more, somewhere. Uh, just make your way to the tunnel itself. And uh, I'll get that shot, oh, I'll get the shotgun too. Yeah, and then just make your way into here, into the, sh into the tunnel. And like I said, there, there are a, a lot of, a lot of scores in here. And so you're going to have to sneak your way through this tunnel. I mean, if you're really OP, you probably don't have to. But uh, it's not a it's not a bad idea to do it. Uh, and, you know, obviously always be on the lookout for adhesive. One thing that I have found, uh, I, I'll give you another little tip if you guys don't know. One thing that I found is that doing a lot of grinding, you know, when you have to constantly be repairing your weapons, you're going to run out of adhesive pretty quick adhesive seems to be the thing that goes and you can make a farm and you can farm adhesive that way if you want i i don't know i don't bother doing that uh because you can find enough of it in enough of it in the world but uh essentially what you want to do to if you want to find adhesive really easily uh you can go up to Cl Camp Mc mcclintock has some military duct tape that's not the best place though the best place i think is the charleston fire department because one there's a vendor there but they sell like bulk adhesive for like 200 which is it only gives you 10 which is not like the greatest deal but the charleston fire department itself has a ton of adhesive laying around like probably 20 25 of it and so you can get quite a bit and then you'll be good to go for a while of leveling and so going through and doing this is really important to make sure you're collecting the materials that you're going to need uh to repair your stuff now another important thing to note about this area is that there, there'll be there'll be scorch sometimes like right here's one for example i'm um, just hanging out on the side over here where's this and then like i was just gonna say in these little tunnels over here they uh will hang out and then come up from behind you and so keep an eye on both of those so the both of those side side areas um because they'll come through here You'll be like, How they, where'd they come from? They came up behind me. Uh, that's where they come out of. And then sometimes over in the secondary tunnel over here. And then you'll just see them kind of up ahead. You can kind of just see them. They'll be, you know, frozen in place until until you uh, shoot or whatever. And so then they'll pop out and, you know, just start doing your killing. That's pretty much all it is. This tunnel's pretty long. Uh, it's not as long as what it shows on the map. Like, it takes you so far away. And it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. 
but uh, essentially, you're going to come out in Cranberry Bog. And so, you just keep that in mind. You're going to be in a pretty, you'll be in a hostile area for the most part. And so, yeah, that's all you do. You just make your way through. You know, you can collect things as you go. There are a couple benches lying around. And so, you can uh, just, you know, grab things as you go. I'm just going to go through this place myself, come out on the other side, and see how close to leveling we are. All right, so then when you come to the end of the tunnel, definitely make sure you're crouching because Lewis and I have had it where you come right outside the door and there's like six of them there. Uh, I actually, I could have probably just ran through this area. It doesn't didn't seem to be that bad. Uh, but there are, and once you do it, you kind of learn like eventually where there's like a cluster of enemies. And so then you could just kind of take care of them pretty easily. See, look at this every time. So that's that's what that's what you encounter when you come out the door. So that's why you want to be crouching in case you want to get a couple shots in. But uh, not a whole lot you can do other than just kind of fight fight them and take that. Wow, I'm sitting here doing this. Yeah. Okay. There's not a ton of them. I think there's more the further out you get too. What was that shooting me? There, there's not a turret here, is there? There's, oh, what's he got? What do you have? Look at that thing. Stop shooting me with that. Nice. Automatic combat rifle. Took a pounding there, but we made it out. Alright, so there you go. That's it. Uh, where are we at in terms of leveling? Got almost halfway, almost half a level, but you can see, I mean, oh, I guess that you didn't see, technically, how long that took me. But that took me, that actually took me quite a while. And so, I really, I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice way to level, but I don't recommend that way anymore. Um, I mean, if you want to have a different, like, you want to change it up or whatever, you can always go there, but uh, you can always come here, but... Honestly, if you can manage to do the other one and just server hop, that one's going to be way faster for you. But I wanted to make a video and show you at least, you know, a couple different ways that you can do things so that you have you have options um, of, like, what you want to do. And, you know, I'm sure that, like I said, I've, I've started seeing a lot of people doing that other, that other way. So if, you know, you have lots of people doing it, obviously you're going to have an issue that in that regard. But, uh, yeah, just wanted to make a, a short little video kind of showing you guys uh, some pretty easy ways to level. That's what I have found to be the easiest. I would almost say that, uh, you know, the the golf club way is definitely the fastest, even over, you know, doing the the broken the broken disarm glitch. I don't, I don't really like that. But, and you know, if you want to do it, whatever floats your boat. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. And uh, subscribe for more content from Fallout. Because I'm going to keep bringing it. Because you guys seem to uh, keep watching and enjoying it. So I'm going to keep bringing it. So hopefully you guys are having a great day. Things are going well. See you next time.